Welcome to What's the 4 and ones quick takes on urban lifestyle and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Onika McLean. Hey girl. What's How you doing? I'm Kizzy. How I'm you doing? doing? Good. I'm doing really good. You look beautiful. Oh, I love your hair you. like that. Thank you. Betty Davis. <laughs> Hey guys, Crazy. you look good as well. Oh, Share this video. video. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So you know someone else is sharing, you know, not a video, but some pictures of themselves. Remember Demi Lovato? Uh -huh. Several months ago, we were talking about her and we were like praying for her because she had had that overdose. Yeah. Now she is in a much better place. She posted a picture of herself in a bathing suit, cakes and yams all over the place. Cellulite, didn't care. And she posted the message saying she now loves her body, cellulite and all, with the hashtag cellulit. Oh, so okay. that was cute. cellulit. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, other people were actually, you know, admiring her too. A former Bachelorette and Bachelor in Paradise contestant, Mike Johnson, posted this flirty comment. He said, look at me like that again. Mm, right? And then he said, love yourself. And he had, like, the, the high 10. The high 10? The high 10 emoji. Like that? Yeah. That's not praise him? Oh, oh I don't know. Oh, That's my God. That's oh, it. oh, I, I was sending that to my pastor. <laughs> <laughs> praise him. No? I know. He's like, what is she doing? He's like, why is she having five in me? Like, what happened to the prank? You know what? Okay. I'm sorry. All okay. right, Anika, you, you remaking the whole emoji <laughs> meanings and everything. All right. Uh, I know I, one person want to remake his whole life, probably. <laughs> R. Kelly. <laughs> So R. Kelly, the singer, producer R. Kelly, is now in general population. So they had Ooh. him in solitary confinement because, you know, I guess of his charge. So, But he's scheduled, his trial is scheduled uh, April 2020? Yep. Yeah, April 2020, he's going to be on trial for this. Um, he's got a lot of time to be in general pop. That's, yeah. that's going to be interesting. Wait, so I know that his uh, lawyers were trying to get a uh, petition to court to get him a computer in the jail because they said that he needed to work on some new music you know what? because he needed to pay for those civil penalties or whatever. And I was like, he needs a computer. I thought he couldn't read. Like, what? Okay. <laughs> you know what? Uh, he you know, need a, okay. He just needs a tape record. Okay. He anyway. needs nothing. <laughs> just stay in jail and He don't need out. no kind of recorder. What is he going to do on the computer? Look at porn? Child porn. Okay, I can't. You know okay. what? Mm. Mm. Hey guys, so and Jeffrey Weinstein, Jeffrey Weinstein, <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Harvey Weinstein, we just put them all together. Now. All right, all put them like all no good men, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All predators. He's scheduled. His trial is scheduled for January 2020. Okay, so, so that's coming up real soon. We'll all, see how that happens. Time's up. Oh yes. Pun intended. Pun right. intended. Exactly. Uh, okay. Lord. Okay. So 50 Cent. Oh, you got 50 some, Cent. You got some 50 Cent oh, news. Oh, he's so um. He's so petty. Okay, so the internet is having a little quarrel. They always having a quarrel. So it's so now it's about m dead Michael Jackson, king of pop, that's, that's been doing it since he's bad. eight years old. They're comparing him to Chris Brown. Chris Brown, right? Okay, mm, I don't know. I guess I guess give Chris Brown more time, and then like, remember we said that about yeah. Beyonce and. Um, and, yeah, yeah, and um, Dion Warwick. Dion Warwick said uh, that stuff. But okay, I just Fifty Cent needs to have a seat. Like, why are you even coming for Michael Jackson? He's dead. He's passed away. He's coming for like, his daughter. And I'm like, Paris Jackson. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you, just, you just some things are just sacred. Just leave it alone. I'm like, Fifty, you don't have, don't you have power to make or something? Come on, man. You know what it is with Fifty Cent. He just <laughs> wants to chime in all the time. Like he, you know what it is. Like 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 Jay Z when he says something. Like Fifty Cent feels like he has to say something all the time. Well, he's trying to stay relevant. I mean, but, but he's he is already like, relevant. So it's like, relevant. why you're just making yourself look petty? And childish, and you're like 45. Petty. Like, he, what's wrong with you? He talks about illiterate boxers. Like he, is not, he is petty, petty. He is petty, <laughs> petty. Like if that was your boyfriend, you'd be like, really? You gonna say that? Yup. He wouldn't be my boyfriend. Remember the yeah. stuff he said about Vivica Fox? Yes, and she was still like, "That's my man. I love him forever and ever." Sorry, Vivica. Mm -mm. Yeah, that was bad. Mm -mm. Okay, mm -mm. sorry. Yeah, let's go on to a happy story. So, <laughs> uh, NGL Collective, you know, that's Next Gen mm -hmm. Latinx Collective, um, the leading independent Latinx and media and entertainment company that was co-founded by actor John Leguizamo, recently announced that actress Rosie Perez, remember her? We love her. Yeah, that's Pookie. Yeah, yeah Pookie. Mm -hmm. And she was on The View for a while, always doing her thing. Mm -hmm. She's going to be honored with a Latina Vader Award. Uh, at the 10th anniversary Hispanicized event that's going to happen in Los Angeles at a luncheon. Do you know that they're having um, HBO Latin 
So they're having com comedians. They're doing like a whole Latin series of, yeah. of specials. Nice. Yeah, it's going to nice. be dope. I know a couple of comedians. Shout out to comedians in New York City oh, no. that, that got chosen for it. It's oh, like, so yeah. exciting. That is so uh, exciting. Aldo, it's a lot. It's a lot going on in uh, the Latin it's really good. And she's being honored because the Latina Vader Award is presented every year to a trailblazing Latina who rises to leadership and transforms power structures and policies. Oh. So she's she's doing her thing. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Congrats, Rosie. Congrats, Rosie. Okay. What's so, up? So, Barb's. Barb's, you guys need to weigh in on this. So, Nicki Minaj. Oh, ba oh Barbies. Barb's. Yeah, Barbies, Barb's. Oh, Barbies. All the, all the Nicki Minaj fans, you guys got to pipe in because Nicki Minaj posted in a Twitter post, of all things, like not a video, not anything else, that she is retiring to start her family. How old is Nicki Minaj? Like 32? No, she may be like 37 or something now. Nicki Minaj is 37? Mm -hmm. Damn, how old am I? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Nicki Minaj is like a baby. Oh, she's like, sizzling. I, but she, she's starting her family. Now, the question is, do we believe her? Is she retiring, retiring? Or is she taking a break, retiring? Because I don't think she's retiring, retiring. Who is she starting a family with? She got a boyfriend? Yes. Oh, my gosh. And I don't remember his name, but he's... The thing is, and why a is lot he of Barb's... Is there? No. A lot of Barb's do not like him at all because he has a criminal record. Like something to do with like child pornography or, or child something having to do with a child, um, and he got he had spent time in jail for that, <laughs> and then came out and then had some other like running with the law, and so people really he probably got a Barb, baby arm. You know, Barb's don't like Barb's don't Barb's do not like him. But Nikki, but, you, you know Safari, you saw Safari, you know. I to get the baby off. I mean, I get it. She like sometimes when you're dealing with some men, you got to retire. <laughs> And not a, hmm, okay. You no, know, she's good. retiring like Jay Z retired eighteen million Exactly, times. exactly. She's not really retiring. Retiring Nikki, for what? I know you ain't going nowhere. Let me you know what else I don't believe? I don't believe that finally, right after being hounded by people in their districts, you know, they were on break. U.S. House of Representatives mm -hmm. went back to their home districts. Finally, they came back and they decided to conduct an impeachment probe into the activities of your president. Donald Trump. They can probe all they want to. <laughs> probe, 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 probe. What you gonna do? He tweets about it. What are you gonna do? They gonna what are they gonna do? Collect his tweets? Listen. He I, just fired the um, um national yeah, defense guy. National security advisor, yeah. What he just yeah. he said, I, what? We'll see. We'll see what comes of it. I mean, Nancy Pelosi, I don't think she's ever gonna let it go forward. She's very, very hesitant to do that because she doesn't want to hand him a political victory. So she's like, you know, if we impeach him and actually impeach him, then we're going to lose and, and then we'll stuck with him for another four years. Nancy Pelosi so. uh, sounds like she smokes a pack of cools a day. Listen, Nancy Pelosi's <laughs> an OG, okay? She OG, she but she's an OG. She got she some knows. camels 100. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. Winston Salem. Like I be like, I hope that girl look got you see her, she sound like an old singer. You she know what? Like, you know what? You know? Listen, listen, that's okay though. Nancy Pelosi <laughs> can do what she wants to do. Okay. All right? I'm just saying keep on probing. What they need to do is find a viable candidate. That's all I'm saying. Not all sleepy Girl, job. you ain't never lied. You ain't where's Listen, the lie that, in that need, one. Like what you need to do is go find somebody like you did when you was digging for Obama. <laughs> You need to start digging. <laughs> like, you need, okay. You said Sleepy Joe. Dang, and you going to use Trump's <laughs> nickname? No. And Sleepy Joe, he's no. not hilarious. Dude, the stuff he says is not hilarious. He'd be like Kim Jong-un. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh -uh. Okay, I'm not, sorry. Womp womp. Okay, sorry. Womp. So rumor has it that Andy Cohen is mulling over the... um. A new kind of uh, reality TV show, Another Housewife. Now he's trying another to go one? to he's trying to go to the Midwest. Do we need yeah. another one? I I don't think we need the ones we have now. But <laughs> <laughs> not just my damn opinion, because none of them bitches are married to nobody. Okay, I'm just. <laughs> You're so funny. So now they gonna have the Real Housewives of Chicago, and I don't know where they gonna have them at because it's gonna be a bunch of shootouts in Chicago. Oh, I'm just saying, like, you where, know what? They Chicago gonna be is coming for your edges, girl. They in now. They all grown in and nice, and they you coming. They about to snap. Chicago. I just want to know what what the so because the Real Housewives of New York, the way they try to have that was like white girls of, of 
Upper East Side or whatever. But they should have the Real Housewives of Brooklyn. Like y'all need to have the Real Housewives of the Bronx. Like y'all need to have the Real Real Housewives of Willie Coochie, Coochie Georgia. Like y'all need what to the have. Hell? Like they have basketball. They have basketball wives in New York, though, which is the kind of same energy. No, you're no, about. you need to have the real housewives, like real women that got to help their man out. You know what I'm trying to say? Like you real. Nobody don't want to see that. But that's what that's what a housewife is. That's the problem. Now you got these little girls thinking that oh, it's just about Birkin bags and hair weaves and glitter and glue. No, you got to help him. Ray Ray don't even spell oh, that well. You know he don't spell that God. well. Like you got to like walk him through what? it. <laughs> Grammar checks. That's a lot when you got a man. You know what I'm trying to say? You got a cook. These are supposed to be women at a certain level. They're supposed to have a certain amount of money. So they're not going to be doing in, that. In Andy Cohen's brain cells. Because real housewives, come on. Right, but no, these are not real housewives. These are real fake housewives. That That's what reality oh. TV is. Yes, that's what it is. Fake, which is dumb. It's, they should have some real housewives for real. You know who's a real show? The midgets. Though, I mean, those little people. That That's some real show because they not like rich. They they just petty and, and they just have an argument. Do you know the little people? The little women? The little women, like they not rich. You don't see them with working bags and they have fake eyelashes. Conversation like, be like a little twisted. Okay, I don't, sorry. I don't mm. understand. Well, that's gonna <laughs> <start with this. laughs> And now we're gonna be getting on with the rest of our show. Where we're gonna be talking about that sex scandal with Malik Yoba. Ooh, yep. Is that really sex? Ooh, I listen, don't know. Uh, I like me like your little um dry lips. I don't. You, really, you know what? Yes. Yeah. So we're gonna be talking about that sex scandal. We're gonna be talking about Azalea Banks being Azalea Banks. Oh my God. We're also gonna be talking about what it's like to be a white girl named Lakeisha. So if you want to keep it locked? Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the Four One TV, to see the rest of the show, and be sure to hit the bell so when we upload a new show, you will be notified. And if you listen to us on Alexa Flash Briefing, add What's the Four One TV to your Alexa skills. We'll be right back. A white girl named Lakeisha, a black girl named Becky. Not the same experience. Oh, Not the same experience. <laughs>